Hi guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the uniform cost search algorithm. Okay, so this is a graph search algorithm that's going to help us to find an optimal solution based off of path cost, right? So if we're trying to get from a particular node in a graph to another node in the graph, following some path, some series of actions, uh, this is gonna try to get us there in the most efficient way in terms of cost, right? So the way it does this is by attempting to expand nodes with the lowest path cost, right? So um, the algorithm, <clears throat> when expanding successor nodes from any particular node in the graph, what it's gonna try to do is it's gonna try to go for uh, those nodes that have the, the lowest cost, right? To take the action to get there. Um, this is different than say a breadth first search or depth first search in that it's not using a first in first out or last in first out queue instead it's using a priority queue for its frontier right and so this uh, priority queue is going to be sorted by path cost so we're going to be able to um, grab the cheapest node to examine next in our search okay uh, so here's going to be our problem definition so we're going to start at some initial state uh, and we'll denote that state or we'll encode it as at node a right so our goal state is to be at node G, G for goal. Now the possible actions that we can take as we're moving from node to node to node is just, we'll just call it two, right? So we can move to node B, we can move to node C. Our transition model is this, that we're gonna be able to move from, you know, the state of being at some node and transition into the state of being at, <clears throat> of being at some other node. Okay, so let's go through the algorithm steps here. Um, it's actually not that complicated. Um, it, it's gonna kind of seem like it when I go through the example, but that's just because I'm gonna go through you know, everything. Um, you'll probably get a good feel for the algorithm halfway through uh, the example I'm about to drop for you. But anyway, here you go. Uh, so here's what you got. You start with a node that's initialized with the initial state uh, and a path cost set to zero. So that's first node, it's got the initial state in it and a cumulative path cost of zero. Next, you add that node to the frontier, which is a priority queue, and that priority queue, remember, is sorted by path cost. Okay, you're gonna be popping um, nodes off of the frontier priority queue um, based off of, you know, lowest cumulative path cost first. Okay, next, if the frontier is empty, return failure. There's no solution, you're done, you're out of here, forget about it, okay? Um, but if you get past that, if the node contains the goal state, now we're checking for the goal, return the solution, you're done, right? Now remember solution, series of actions, uh, going from the goal state, working your way all the way back up uh, to the initial state, right? So in this case, our solutions might be made of something like 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, 2, you know, et cetera. Um, all right, so you know, we're going to make sure to add the node state to the explored state. If we get past, uh, if, if it's not the goal state, then we go ahead and we add the node state to our explored set. That helps us to avoid those loopy paths, those infinite loops. Okay, after that, for each action that's possible from the node state, what do you got to do? Okay, for each possible action, create a child node. That's the result of the given action applied to its parent state. And you got to do a test. If the child state is not in explored or frontier, or in the frontier, insert it into the frontier. Otherwise, if the child state is in the frontier with a higher path cost, replace that frontier node with the child node. Right. So that's going to help us to uh, backtrack. There's going to be our backtracking actions right here, and you'll see it uh, in the example. Okay, so let's show you an example of this. Uh, in the upper left-hand corner, I got a graph representing our world. Each node represents a particular state. So the node labeled A represents at A. The node labeled B represents at B, etc. Each edge represents an action. So to go from A to B, that edge uh, in between those two represents action 2B. Uh, and to go from B to E, that edge represents um, action 2E. The weights there represent the path cost to go uh, for that action, right? So to do the action 2B um, from A is going to cost you three, okay? So I'm going to keep that graph up there so you can watch, so we can refer back to it. 
as the algorithm progresses. Now our initial state, our initial state is going to be at A, right? Our goal state is at G. So we're trying to find the lowest cost to get from A to G, right? We're trying to find a path and the path is going to provide us our solution, right? From if we start at A, the solution might be 2B, right? And then 2E and then 2G because A plus 2B will give you B and then B plus 2E is going to get you to, to state at E and then a state at E plus 2G is going to get you to at state G, right? So the way this algorithm works, it requires us to have a priority queue, which we'll refer to as the frontier, and that controls the order in which nodes get expanded, examined, um, and we're going to need an explored set. Okay, uh, so right hand side of the screen, I'm going to trace through and um, show how I'm going to draw out nodes as the algorithm is processing, right, to show how things are evolving as the algorithm runs. So what happens is you start off with your initial state, right? So your initial state is going to be um, A. Right? And the cost to get there is going to be zero because that's your initial state. Fine. Okay. Now, uh, that initial state is added to the frontier and there's a cumulative cost of zero to get to that initial state. Right? Explored is empty. So the algorithm progresses this way. You start off by popping from the priority queue that thing which has the lowest overall path cost. Now, that happens to be A. A also happens to be the only thing in the priority queue. Fine. In that frontier. Okay, now once you've done that, then what has to happen is, is you have to generate all the possible actions you can take from uh, that state. So from state A, I can go to B. That's one action. Um, I can also go to C and to D, right? And we'll take care of each one of those in turn. So to go from A to B, right, that's going to cost me a total of three. And since I popped A off of the frontier, I have to remember to do this. Hopefully I won't forget again. Every time you pop something, you gotta add its state to the explored's uh, set. Okay, anyway, so to get from A to B cumulatively, cost three, All right, fine. Uh, if B is not in the frontier or explored, then we're just gonna add it to the frontier. Now what's another action we can take? To C, okay. So that's gonna get us a note of C. The C that contains the C state. Now, what's the cost? The cumulative cost to go from A to C is five. All right now, is C in frontier or in explored? No. So add it to the frontier. All right now, what's the last action we can take from A? We can go to D. All right now, what's the cost to get from A to D? Cumulatively, two. All right. So, is D in the frontier or in uh, explored? No. So let's add that state and along with its cost to the to the uh, frontier priority queue. All right. So now we're going to do this thing again. Go back up to the top, and what we have to do is we have to pop the lowest cost node, right, which is going to be D. Right. So we add its state to uh, explored. Now we have to figure out what all the possible actions are. Um, before we do that, let's just do a quick check: is state D at D our goal? No. Our goal is to get 2G. So now let's go through all the actions we could take. We could go back to A, right? Fine. What would be the cumulative cost to go back? Well, it's two to get to D and then two to get back. So that'd be four, right? So now we go and we check our frontier and our explored. Okay, if A is in either of those, then if, if A is not in either of those, then we would add it to the frontier, but it's already in our explored set so this is a dead end. Forget about it. It's over. We're never going to look at that again. We're not going to generate any child nodes or successor nodes off of that. What's the other possible action we could take? Our other possible action would be to go to F, right? To F, right? Now, what would be the cumulative cost to go to F? Well, to get from A to D was two and get from D to F is six. So that's a total of eight, right? Now it's not the frontier explored. So let's add that to our frontier. Okay, cool. So let's do it again, right? So uh, we've handled D, we've handled B, we have, okay. So what's 
the cheapest thing in the priority queue now will be. Right? So we're going to pop that. Add the B state to our explored. Fine. Now, what are all the possible actions off of B? Well, we could go back to A. What would be the cumulative cost? Right? Another three. To go from A to B is three. To go from B to A is three. So that's six. Okay, now, just like with trying to go from D to A, we go and look and we see, well, take a look in the in the explored set, D's are, or, uh, excuse me, A's already there. So this is a dead end, forget about it. What's the other action we can take? We can go from B to E. What's the cumulative cost to get there? Well, to go from A to B is three, and then go to B to E is eight, so that's a total of 11. Is, it in, is E an explorer frontier? No. So add it to the frontier, fine. Okay, so we've handled all the actions possible for B. Okay, so let's go back up to our frontier and pull off the cheapest thing, which is C. Right now, that's not our goal node, so let's continue on. What are all the possible actions from C? We can go back to A. Right, what would that cost you cumulatively? Well, five to get to C and then five more to give back. So that would be a total of 10. Now, A is already in the explored set, and let's not forget, we popped C, so we got added two. So A is already there, so this is a dead end, just like with the other guys, so forget about it. But we can go from C to uh, F, right? So that's another possible action, to F, right? So what's the cumulative cost to get the F from A through C? Five plus four is nine. Okay, now is uh, F in Frontier or Explored? No. So we'll add that to our Frontier. Okay. And I'll just make little arrows to indicate where we came from. That'll be important later. Okay, so we're pointing back to our parent node, essentially. Okay. All right, so uh, where were we? Yeah, F9. We just added F9 to our Frontier. Fine. Um, is there anything else we can do with C? No. So um, let's go back up uh, to the top where we finish processing C. And uh, let's go to our, uh, oh, I almost forgot something. Look, we already had an F, F8, right? Now here's the thing, almost forgot, almost forgot, almost forgot. Um, what happens is, is if you've got uh, a state that already existed, right? So F8 was already in the frontier and then I've erroneously added nine. Okay, what happens is, is that you take the cost that's the best and you leave that. Now, nine is not better than eight. So this guy just gets tossed, right? We don't add it to the frontier because we've already got a better, cheaper one, right? Because to get from A to D to F is only eight, but to get to A to C to F down along this path, to get to F through C is more expensive. It's nine as opposed to eight. So we're not gonna add the F9 node into the frontier. Okay, so anyway, let's continue on. So grab the cheapest thing, Cheapest thing remaining is F8, so we pop that, throw that in Explored, okay? So then we have to go and we have to generate all the possible actions, okay? So F9 down here is gonna be, gonna be a dead end, right? Okay, so what can we do off of eight? Well, we can go back to C, right? Now, what would be the cumulative cost to do that? Two plus six plus four. So it would be 12, okay? Now C is already in explored, so forget about it, it's a dead end. Okay, what's something else we can do from F? Well, we could go back to D. Okay, but D already in explored, so forget about it, it's a dead end. Okay, but we can go, what's the other thing we can do? We can go to G, right? Now if we go to G, what's the cumulative cost? Well, we have to add another 11 onto the eight that's already in F. So that's gonna be a cumulative cost of 19. Now is G in the frontier or in E? No, so we can add it. G 19, okay, oops. It's getting a little late, Ugh, I'm getting a little tired, Ugh, making mistakes. Ugh. Okay, so G 19, okay, fine. So we've dealt with all of the F8 um, actions, right? So let's do it again. So we go back to our priority queue. What's the cheapest thing in here? E11. So this guy right here, right? So pop that, add the E state to explored state. Now what are all the possible actions? Well, we could go back to B, right? 2B, 
which would cost us what? Uh, to go from E to B would be another eight. So that would be 19 total, right? So, or no, more than that. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. No, that's right. Go back because it's A to B is three, B to E is 11, and then E to back to B is 19. Right, so 19, fine. Now, uh, B is already in explored in the explored set, so forget about it. It's a dead end. Where else can we go from? Uh, where else can we go to? Well, we can go to G. Okay, we can go to G. Now, what's the cost to get there? Well, to go from E to G is 10, right? So what was the cost to get to E at that point? 18. So 18 plus 10 is 28, isn't it? Right? Am I counting that right? Did I write that right? So to go from A to B to E. A to B to E. No, that's sorry. That should be 11. It's 11. Made a mistake. 11. Okay. Anyway, so 11 plus 10 is 21. 21. 21. Right? So A to B is 3. B to E, 11. E to G, 21. Okay? Fine. Now, is G already in explored? No. Is it already in the frontier? Yes. Is that 21 less than the 19 that's in there? No. So toss this. It's gone. Dead end. Okay? So now go back all the way up to the top. Grab the cheapest thing in the frontier. Well, there's only one thing left. G19. Pop it. Okay? Once we pop it, is G at G the goal? Yes. We found our solution. So we found G, right? So now what's the solution? Well, you take that G node and you follow all the arrows back, right? To get your solution. So what's the solution? We had to do 2G, right? 2F, 2D, 2B. Uh, no, that's it. No, 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 2B. I, I went one too far. That's it. Boom, 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 boom. Stop myself. All right. So all the way back up to the initial state. So follow the arrows 2G, 2F, to D. So this is your solution. So what's the path? A to D, right? That equals the D node plus 2F. That equals the F node plus 2G equals the G node, right? So that's your, that, this is your solution. That's the set of actions that gets you from A to G. So our path is um, A to D to F to G. What was the total cost? Well, what's in G? 19. Solution and cost is 19. Okay. All right. So that's everything for the uniform uh, cost search. Okay. So that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.